good afternoon on what is a slightly chilly, uh, uh, blustery and uh, showery uh, day. It is uh, Wednesday the 29th of September and I'm in the reading nook with a nice hot cup of tea. And um, a pile of parcels um, which I am planning to unbox. So, um, the very first thing I'm going to look at here today is Troll Pack. I'm going to unbox the boxing of this. Now, this is Troll Pack, Troll Pack's Secret and Adventures for RuneQuest. Now, I've already done an unboxing of this, but that's the print-on-demand version, which was released last uh, last year um, from Chaosium. And this is a copy of the box set published in 1982. It's by Greg Stafford and Sandy Peterson. Illustrations by Lisa Free. Um, and uh, this is a very nice copy, which I picked up at a convention called Albert and Wizard Star, which was a couple of weeks ago. Um, and, uh, you know, basically I've been after a copy of this for a while and was very pleased to find a copy in as good a condition as this because the only thing that is really wrong with it is that. So, uh, it's in good condition. Uh, so definitely not mint, but good. So here we go. Well, Gort, they're finally telling about us trolls the way us really are. Makes me proud, Basher. Sure, us us is tough and smart and cultured, uh, but was also we was also re uh, reverent and decent, and we're good to children who deserve it. We always eat our vegetables too. Us trolls is the greatest race. It's important to keep fit. I sure like Lisa Free's drawing of us. There's sixteen of them in here. And 200 pages of text, handouts and scenarios, and a map of Dagori Inkarth, a troll board field, and more than 40, um, uh, 40 maps, charts and diagrams. Everything anybody would need to know, uh, would like to know about us. Only an egghead or an elf would, would uh, could want more. So, um, partial topic content to this box, troll mythos, genealogy of darkness deities, troll language, the exodus, troll migrations during the storm age, um, uh, 11 troll battles, troll eating habits, trolls in the first, second and third ages, troll detention, um, uh, dentition, uh, Ganeshla at the dawn, troll philosophy, the uh, Gabaji wars, twins, troll kin life, statistics, the curse of kin, Kaigalotar wrestles with Gabaji, measurement of time and distance, okay, and on and on. Components, us law about trolls in the history, book of us, playing troll characters, unto, into usdom, uh, multiple troll scenarios, munch room caverns A and B, additional scenarios, player handouts, and Degori Inkarth map, etc. So let's find out what is inside. And all that information on the back, and you've got quite a box, a tiny little box of text there, um, which I'm not going to read all the way out because you know that, um, that will take a bit of time. So inside, the first thing we've got is the traditional what's in this box sheet. Um, I mean, this is a lot of a feature I've basically I've highlighted again in previous box sets. You know, you open up the box, and there's essentially there's even one. If you, if you open up um, the more recent uh, Call of Cthulhu starter set for seventh edition, it's there, and you'll find one exactly li exactly like it, explaining what's in the box when you see the um, RuneQuest role playing rather starter set, which is out very soon. So, uh, simple sheet. Um, and on the nice, nice little thing on the back is you have um, designers notes from both Greg Stafford and Sandy Peterson. Uh, so that's a nice addition. Uh, and we've got the three books: Book of Us, Us Law, uh, Into Usdom, uh, and then uh, Munch Rooms A and B uh, player handouts okay so that's there so player handouts that's where you've got the basically map um, and more information and this is actually, in some ways, far more accessible than the book itself because there's, essentially there's a lot of information packed into this book. This breaks it apart into constituent parts, um, a bit more information, along with um, um, 
a Thunder Breath, uh, th Thunder Breath Gobble Guts, uh, the finest in Troll Cuisine. Uh, uh, for humans, probably food so bad even I wouldn't try. And uh, look, sick location with, um, to be sure, Thunder Breath Restaurant near you. And then you've got player information for Troll Ball Scenario and map in the back. And then lastly, we have the fold out map. Um, so on the one side, well, that's that, um, there we go. That's the Troll Ball map. And on the other, we have um, a map of the Cory Inkoff. There we go. And as I said, the contents of this box is uh, fantastic. They're in really nice condition. Um, it's almost, I'm almost getting, yeah, I don't even want to handle these because these are such nice condition. Um, but the general style of this, I mean, people will recognise um, if they're fans of um, Kelsium and have looked and know their con uh, basically their, their back catalogue, will recognise from the early 80s. So let's have a look at these boxes, books, so. Um, just trying to get hold of the first one. There we go. Um, there we are. That is a book. Um, Aslaw. That's what I wanted. Aslaw. Um, and to be fair, essentially a lot of the, the troll um, uh, related content is um, it, it's content that's been printed. Um, several times over the years and each of these individual books also has has its own index on the back so it makes them stand alone um so uh, uh we dive straight into the mythos trolls complete with the uh, genealogy of the darkness deity of which the latest you'll see the version of that you'll see is in the um uh it's it, it in the source book a uh, source book um again map of um, so the troll migration at uh, 11 troll battles and go on to the history so uh, this covers from basically um, from um, essentially uh, from, from basically the beginning of history beginning of time um, so um, after time from the first age onwards going through um, right through the third and fourth centuries, Kabaji Wars, um, at, uh, um, uh, say through the Second Age, uh, and so on. Um, and then we have uh, troll types um, presented. Uh, so these are very, very familiar. So we've got ordinary human, then a mistress, dark, great, trollkin, and cave trolls, which are the most well known, and then I'm the far. Right side, you've got the sea troll, which is rarely encountered um, um, in role playing. To be honest, um, there aren't many scenarios involving it. Um, but, uh, and then uh, into the third age, uh, especially the Dragon Pass region. Um, okay. Another map of that. So, lot, I mean, a lot of content and details in here, um, and all this is still really relevant. But it's still, you can take uh, if you took. Uh, the RuneQuest role-playing around the rules, and you took the information that was given in the uh, RuneQuest bestiary, uh, which has stats for, for trolls, you could easily take this content and run it. Um, and then uh, into Dakori Inca itself. And these still are places which are generally, I only know in um, passing familiarity. Um, it's a great artwork, really nice, fun, fun map there. Um, and I've always been um, fascinated by the trolls and trollkin. Um, at, uh, um, and uh, essentially, the Redstone Caverns is the um, okay, basically the location of one tribe. And we've got a complete breakdown of, um, of them cave by cave, which fantastic, you know, pages of that, and that's fine. Uh, at last we get on to troll anatomy um, and in some ways this is almost inf more information than you really kind of need to know um, but it helps 
develop sort of like the, the, the troll character and who they are. I think that sounds fantastic. Um, but, uh, and then there's an evolution of the troll skulls. Again, just the depth and detail in this book, just to bring uh, the, the race alive. We've got a particular clan, the Sazdorf clan, uh, and its history. Um, but, uh, and then a study of insects because insects uh, are a former part, major part of troll life, whether that's using them as messengers or um, beasts of burden or uh, you know um, foodstuffs because you know trolls will eat anything. So that's that's um, the us law. The second book is um, Book of Us, creating and, 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 and playing troll characters. Um, again. But, uh, um, guide to playing trolls. Great, love, I mean, fantastic illustrations here. Um, and uh, what's important essentially is what this box set does is bring the trolls alive, um, uh, um, make them playable, um, and make them something more than just things to kill. And they're definitely not that. Um, and that's what's so impressive about the Troll Pack is it's one of the first source books to really look at a non-human race like that and develop it into something playable um, as both NPCs uh, and as P player characters. Uh, and then um, you know, something you would play. Um, and then we have the different um, cults that the characters can join um, from Ariana, um, Argon Argar, um, including uh, Sisiza, a devout worship of Argon Argar, in casual garb on his way to the bazaar, um, and complete with sunglasses against the, against the, against the sun, because um, the, the, the trolls do not like the sun. Um, at, uh, um, so, all the um, various um, gods worshipped by the trolls. Um, including Gaigolito, who uh, is probably the most uh, commonly presented uh, deity in all of RuneQuest, um, certainly going all the way back to RuneQuest 2nd Edition, where he appears alongside Orlanth. Um, and, uh, so, yeah, um, so that's, that's the Book of Buzz, everything you need in there to play a troll. And uh, then we have into Usdom, which is uh, adventures in troll lands, um, and um, we have uh, introduction and then a, a guide to the scenarios explaining what they are. That's always useful, you know, so basically it's you know what's in the book, and what are they like, um, and we've just a simple uh, pages of encounters, um, and then sort of like start off with something nice and simple the caravans. Um, you know, discussing a troll caravans uh, and their guards and how to encounter them and that's really kind of simple um, at, uh, and uh, we've got a, a troll raiding party Skyfall Lake is the first not actual scenario so and um, this is a scenario written for non-troll characters they must enter troll character tree and find a well-reported grog shop hidden amongst the woods um, and there the one human and more humans may enter a good nature drinking contest with trolls um, and, uh, and that's great. Um, that's very fantastic. I think it, it's it's that's a nice way of really bringing um, the tro your uh, the characters into contact with the trolls and having good reason to uh, engage with them. At, uh, and um, I mean, a lot of this is familiar with a couple of scenarios I've played with trolls. Um, and but. Um, and it's probably a pretty good scenario, if, especially if you've got if you've got Nisari's, uh, Nisari's worshipper amongst your number, um, and then Grub Farm, at, uh, and then it's basically uh, um, uh, at uh, um, players have to go to a Grub Farm in order to get some raw jelly, um, um, uh, and uh, Sazdorf Clan. Um, we must have covered earlier in earlier in the set. Um, uh, and basically, I think you've got to get um, basically go and deal with them for reasons I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure uh, when I come to do a full review of this, um, I will. And there's a people to complete essentially 
dungeon at the end of it. Um, so you've got three scenarios in here, plus the um, the, the, the um, secondary uh, munch rooms scenarios as well, A, A and B. Um, so you've got plenty of gaming material in there. And there have been plenty of scenarios uh, written about trolls since, because they're a fascinating race. Um, uh, and uh, I mean a fascinating um, a race to play as well uh, uh, and encounter. So that's um, Troll Pack. Uh, I mean, that's just, I mean, this is um, really, it's a very nice set. The net now, uh, unless you're an absolute collector, you know, and you want every box set. Um, like this, you don't have to have this um, at all. It's nice to have, um, and again, in some ways, it's more accessible than the book, than the book, a recent print of the Marm book. But it's not absolutely necessary because of that print of the Marm book. You've got everything you need in those pages. Um, but if you find a nice copy, it's it's useful to have on the shelf. It's very accessible, and I'm sure, of course, it will be um, updated and represented. Not necessarily. All of the content, it's actually, um, 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 uh, but certainly uh, much of it, because some, of, most of it is still relevant uh, to Ringquest today, um, will be presented in a supplement in the, for, for the current version of the role-playing game. But that's Troll Pack, uh, Troll Facts, Secrets, and Adventures for Ringquest, published in 1982. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed that unboxing in the Nook. Um, if you have, please do click on the like button down below. And um, if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. As well, of course, um, I do take the time to read them myself. And lastly, uh, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings here in the Nook, then um, essentially where you will get me with um, a box or a package and a book or game product, um, which I will talk about for roughly 10 minutes till the very best of my uh, sometimes limited knowledge. All, of course, accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then do please hit that subscribe button down below. In the meantime, uh, thanks again for, um, for watching this video. And I'll be back again soon with another unboxing in the nook. Bye for now.